Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today I'm going to give you a special bonus video on taming time signatures. Specifically, I'm going to look at meta tools. So interestingly, I was uh, looking through the Finale user manual, researching a completely different subject, and I happened to come across meta tools. And um, you know, one thing I wasn't aware of was that you can do use meta tools in time signatures and key signatures as well. Um, now, the funny thing about finales, there's often a million ways to do something. So if you learn two or three, it's like, why learn the other half a million ways to do something? But um, I, I thought this was particularly useful. So I, I thought I would uh, check it out and teach it to myself real quick. And now I'm going to teach it to you real quick. So um, it is handy. And, and uh, you know, I if you want to use time signatures this way, it's not a bad, bad way to do it. So in order to use meta tools in Finale, one thing that's going to be different than using it, uh, than changing a time signature normally, is that we do have to select all of the measures that we want to change. So we can't just click in the first measure and change a time signature through the end of the piece, for example. So we would have to select all of them. Now to invoke a meta tool time signature, uh, what we need to do is hold down a key on the computer keyboard and double click anywhere within the measures that we've just selected, all right? And the keys themselves, they're not visible anywhere within the time signature tool, uh, which actually might explain why it, it's something that completely passed me by. But um, I, I figured out what they are, and I'm going to show them to you. So in the number row, 1 through 9 will give you time signatures of 1, 4 through 9, 4. All right. So for example, 3, if I hold down 3 and double click in these measures, it would change it to 3, 4. 6 would change it to 6, 4, etc. Uh, up to 9. And the number 0 will actually give you 12 4. So we're going to skip 10 and 11. All right. So that's, uh, that's, that's the number row. Right below that, starting with Q all the way up through O, we're going to get 1 through 9 8. All right. So uh, E, which is right below the 3. It's easy to see because the le those, those letters are right below their numbers. So like Y, for example, is right below the 6. And if we hold down Y, we'll get 6 8. U is right below 7. We'll get 7, 8, et cetera. And again, we'll skip 10 and 11, so P will give us 12, 8, right? Uh, o for 9, 8, P for 12, 8, okay? Below that, A, S, D, and F will give us 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, and 4, 2, just like that. Um, G, H, J, K, and L are unused. Uh, Z is also unused. And uh, I should mention the, the semicolon and the quote key are also unused. The minus, the plus, the brackets, and the backwards slash are also all unused. Uh, Z is unused. Uh, X will also give us 2, 2. For some reason, it's the same 2, 2. Um, C will give us the common time. And that's, again, using the 4, 4. And we've talked about this. More options. Use a different time signature for display. Abbreviate. That's how it's getting the common time there with the letter C, which is appropriate. V will also give us 3, 4, but this is that other 3, 4 that I think I showed you at one point where it's just the dotted half note in the top half of the, the, um, the dialog box, which will give you the, the six eighth notes beamed all together, right? And then B, N, M, comma, period, and slash are all unused, all right? <coughs> now, there's a couple things I want to mention about all of this. Um, starting with the, the, the first row of letters with Q, so the, the, the eight time signatures, uh, th one, two, three, four, five, eight, et cetera. Um, Finale will do this specifically d uh, differently for each one of those. So one eight, for example, which is Q, if I then double click to sh bring up the dialog box, you'll see that it's as one eight, which makes sense. Two eight will give you the two eight version where it's one four, you know, showing 2, 8, et cetera, this will allow the finale, this, this will uh, essentially beam your eighth notes together in a 2, 8 measure. 3, 8, 3, 6, 9, and 12 will always give you the compound versions of those, right? So we'll get the dotted quarter and then a two dotted quarter for 6, et cetera. 4 will give you, I think, 2, 4, right? Right. So you'll end up um, beaming two sets of eighth notes. 5 will happen to give you 3 plus 2. 6, again, will give you the compound version right? Seven will give you four plus three. So if you need a different version of seven, eight, you won't be able to use a meta tool for that. Eight, I think this gives, uh, which is I, right? I, yep. Eight will give you two, two. So you get f uh, four sets, two sets of four eighth notes beamed together. Again, O, which is below the nine, will give you nine, eight, and that's the compound version. And again, P, 
will give you 12 8 which is the compound version right so that's just uh, something to know about all the um, the key the time signatures with a denominator of 8 in it uh, one other thing to know is that when you change a time signature we talked about the rebar music function right if you have music in there um, when you use meta tools the meta tool will use the rebar music state that was previously invoked. So if you had changed the time signature earlier and you use the rebar music function, you had that checked, and then you were to use the meta tool to change the time signature again, the rebar music is effectively will still be checked. Okay, uh, just an important thing to to uh, grasp um, uh, that the the meta tool will invoke whatever state that was in last. All right. And then one other thing, obviously, just like all the other tools and meta tools, you can program meta tools too. And the, the way to do that is very similar. If you hold down shift and press one of the, the keys that are not used, and actually you can press one of the keys that are used and you just overwrite that meta tool. Um, but in this, in, the, in this instance, well, we know that G is unused. So if I press shift G while in the time signature tool, I'll get the time signature dialog box. Uh, with, an, with the exception that the measure region is grayed out, which makes sense because all we're doing is def defining the meta tool, right? So there's no reason to have that checked. And uh, from here, we can put in anything we want. So if we wanted that other version of 7, 8, we'll go into the composite, of course, and do 2 plus 3 plus 2 over 8. All right, and then, like we did in one of the earlier videos, use a different time signature display, 7 eighth notes, right? So that'll give us 7 8. Now I pressed OK and nothing happened, right? Because again, I'm not invoking the meta tool, I'm just defining it. So now when I use the G, hold down the G and double click, I'll get that version of 7 8. And again, you can see that the 7 8 is defined that way versus the other 7 8, which would be U. Right? You got to select them all, U. And that 7 8 looks different, right? Um, so this could be handy, like if you have, you know, for example, uh, some alternating measures where one of the measures is something weird like the 7, 8 bar, 2 plus 3 plus 2, right? Um, but you would need to alternate it with 4. Then you can just kind of, you know, do G and then 4, G. I guess the 4 is already there. G. You can kind of double click every other measure to put that in. And that's your, um, that's your newly defined way of doing 7, 8, right? So uh, that is Meta Tools in Finale. That's all there is to it. It's a nifty little trick that you can use to create time signatures. Uh, so thanks for watching. You know, you learn something new every day, in, including over here at Conquering Finale. So I uh, hope you learned something new as well. And uh, thanks for watching, and um, come back for the next video.